was such a thrilling and free experience. And the noise was just, I mean, it was unbelievable. I'd never experienced anything like it in my life. Well, I think the people in aviation are the greatest people because um, I think they tend to be real honest. Because in aviation, if you're not honest, and if you're not honest with yourself, and you're a pilot, something bad is going to happen to you at some point. The thing about piloting and flying is this. You never know who you're going to run across. Hey, Kurt. I've got to get to Bakersfield yep. right away. See what I mean? It's a small, it's a small runway. Not every plane can get in. Most pilots I know are afraid to fly there. But this one can get in there. You can get me there. You got your stuff. You together? are a lifesaver. Let right. me let me go get my bag. Right. I'll be all right. right. All right. You see what I mean? When we took off from Seattle and landed here 36 hours later with a record, it was just amazing. Something I'll never forget. This country was built on freedom. And we're so fortunate in the West because we have big sky country and great freedom. And we can't lose that. We just can't lose it. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. You're Buzz Aldrin, aren't you? The man who walked on the moon. Oh, God, I don't believe this. These are the things that have really moved society forward from scrabbling around in the mud, making some of the things that are dreamt about in science fiction books and movies come true. We all relate to what the metaphor symbolizes, freedom, pushing our boundaries, and reaching beyond ourselves. My name is Jerry Lips, and I have had the privilege of opening the awards event every year since the beginning. Of course, the real beginning was December 17th at 10.31 a.m. With Orville at the controls and Wilbur running alongside steadying the wing, the world recorded the first controlled powered flight. At precisely that time, 100 years later, December 17th, 2003, the Living Legends of Aviation organization was founded with the mission of recording, honoring, and celebrating aviation's second hundred years. But thank you so much for letting me join this group of uh, unbelievable people. Thank you very much. In closing, I'd like to congratulate the other award winners here tonight and recognize the significant efforts of Kitty Hawk Air Academy. Thank you again for this wonderful recognition tonight. This is the first time in the in the four billion year history of Earth that it's it's possible for, for life to go from Earth to another planet, to make life multiplanetary. Um, and and it, I think it's it's really something we should we should try to do. I had no idea that Tony was, uh, was going to do that. had no idea that I was going to be up here saying anything tonight, because I love to come here and just observe. This might be the train wreck. <laughs> For a number of reasons. Uh, I just want to say, first of all, this is where I come to see John Travolta. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, I've never shook hands with God, but I'm going to after this. Flight, more than anything on this planet, symbolizes our deepest desire to push our boundaries, to reach beyond ourselves. Let's use it to inspire humanity to take the next step on its journey. Thank you.
I gotta tell you, uh, that made a lot of pilots in this world. Tom has had the passion for aviation since he was young, and not only did he find a way to weave aviation into the fabric of his life, but through his movie Top Gun, has been able to share that passion with others. Top Gun also renewed the fires of patriotism in filmgoers everywhere. And to commemorate that, I would like to present Tom with a Top Aviation Inspiration and Patriotism Award, Tom Cruise. I think that aviation is, is really represents the foundation of, of America, the innovation, the uh, ingenuity, the audacity uh, to dream and then to make those dreams a reality. So I'm, I'm very honored to be part of this community uh, and, and be part of this night. And I thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. I thank everybody so much. I really appreciate uh, getting this honor. And for my last number, <laughs> over 20 some odd years ago, Jerry Lips came to me and said, Cliff, uh, we're gonna have this uh, wonderful salute to aviation. Come out to my house in Colorado, let's talk about it. And when we got there, he said, there are not gonna be any actors, so don't worry about that. And there's no actor pilots, so don't worry about that. I said, okay. So will you come? I said, yeah, I'll come. And I wrote some words. He said, you're a writer, so you ought to be able to put something together. So I put these words together, and the next thing I knew, we were ready for the first uh, celebration. And uh, halfway through the program, he came up to my table and said, Cliff, you're going to have to cut it a little short. We've got some celebrities here. I said, OK, I'll cut it. So I cut it short, and uh, we got through it. And then last year, we were up in Reno, and he said, Cliff, you're going to have to cut it a little short, buddy. I said, why? He said, we're running a little late. I said, no problem. I'm an ex-newspaper man, I know how to cut the words. So he said, okay. So tonight, <clears throat> I brought the same words that I had written five years ago. And uh, I was there and he slipped up to me and said, Cliff, do you mind cutting it a little short? <laughs> I said, no prob, no prob. So uh, pretty soon a young lady came, very attractive, and she said, uh, Jerry wonders if you could cut it down a little bit. I said, well, there's not much left. She, so I said, what else did he say? She said, he said, you're a pro, just wing it. A wing what? She said, you're a pro, you'll know what to do. So sure enough, about a minute before time to go, he sent over the stage manager. The stage manager came up and said, Mr. Robertson, they want you to cut it short. So I cut it down to about four words. And we got our way through it. And I got here tonight. And the last thing Jerry said to me was, you don't mind cutting it short, do you? <laughs> so maybe next year. OK, thank you. God bless America, everybody. Thanks for coming.